Hey there, Adam here. Today I'm going to do a video on how to move items between boards. Uh, as is my typical approach, I'm going to show you how to do it manually, um, and then I'm going to show you an automation to do it, and then I'm going to show you some more advanced ways you can automate the process to get more out of Monday, get more bang for your buck. So I've created a starting board, and I have created an ending board. So I'm going to move from the starting to the ending board. They're just default boards, no automations. So here's task number one. So if I want to do it manually, you're going to right click on the task. And then you're going to go down to move to board. And then you're going to click on the board you want it to go to, ending board. And then you're going to pick which group. So I want to send it to, let's just send it to the purple group. So there it goes. So now it's in the purple group. But that's a couple clicks, right? That's sort of annoying. So that's the manual method. Let's delete that one. So if that's all you need, there you go. But that's not all you need because that's way too much work. So here's a, an automated way to do it. So let's say this is going to be task number two. We're going to do this one. Well, let's call it automated. Automated method. All right. So this time we are going to create a new column. So we're going to create a new status column. So you're going to click on the plus, you're going to click on status. And now you're going to see you got these choices, but this is not a, a done working on it or stuck question here. We're actually going to say this is ending board. And then we're going to delete these columns because you could send it to more boards. But we're just going to have an ending board status and we're going to rename this to move boards. So now the text lines up. So when you click on it, what we're going to want to do is when you click on ending board, it's going to ship it to the ending board. So now we have to actually set it up to do that. So you're going to click on automations, and you're going to click on, on custom automations. So now you're going to say, I, and this is, you may have a different most used category, but status changes. So now you're going to see why, if you've ever messed with automations, you're, the question is always, why when I click on status is, there, why do I have to click twice? Now you're going to see why you have to click twice. So now we have two different status columns. We have the status status column, and then we have the move boards, which is a type, you know, is a second status column. So we're going to click on status, we're going to click on move boards, and then we're going to click on ending board. And now what happens when you click on ending board? We want to move the item to a different board. So you can't click on this one first. You have to pick the board first, because that's asking what group you want to send it to. So we're going to send it to ending board. And now you pick which, uh, either the blue group or the purple group. We're going to send it to purple group. And now this is where you can start to get a little fancy. You can, so right now what this is saying is it's going to have the same name. It's going to have the same person attached. It's going to have this, be the same status that it currently is. And the date's going to stay the same. So this is basically saying all your categories are going to stay the same. You can add to this. So let's just say, now you want it to say, I moved from starting, starting board. And now you've got that text on it. You can hit done. And now your automation is finished. So now you can see it in action. So you're going to go to your automated method and we're going to move it to the ending board. Get some fireworks. Off it goes. Click on ending board. There it is. Automated method moved from starting board. So it added on this text at the end. So you can have as many of those boards as you want, uh, but you do have to set it up on each board. So you need a move boards column, status column on each board if you want to move it back. So that is the basic way to automate it. And you can have a different status column for each board. Like I can send it to the mirror to-do list, to the recurring tasks, wherever I want to send it. Uh, let's add a little bit more to this. I, I just to get a real taste for I you know for some of the strength that you can get behind this. So automated with notify. So now we're going to make a new automation. Let's just say Every time you move a task, let's just say this is my to-do list and I'm sending it to somebody else and I want to notify 
that person that it's been moved to them so that they it doesn't get lost in the shuffle because you can set up your notifications to email you when there's a notify i that's the way i recommend setting it up so that when people specifically want your attention you get an email about it but that's neither here nor there so we're going to go into automate create custom automation and then we're going to do very similar thing status changes move boards to ending board then we are going to move it to ending. And this time we're not going to change this. So we're going to leave this the same. You can add additional, an additional step. And now we're going to notify. So we're going to notify. I'm going to notify myself. But you can notify anybody on your team. And here's where you can actually add the change, the uh, the language behind the notification. So these are your categories in each one on your item. So this is the information. It'll pull it directly from each individual item. So like for this item, it was named what? Uh, automation with notify or something like that. So if I click on that, it's going to have the task's name. Uh, if I click on this, it's going to have the due date from it, uh, et cetera, et cetera. So I'm going to put the task's name has been moved to your board for your review. So there we go. Now we're going to notify me that it's been moved to the ending board. So I'm going to click on close and then let's give it a shot. Ending board. It's been moved. So here in a second, if I did it correctly, it should notify me. Okay, I don't know why that was so slow. Sometimes Monday is a little slow. So notifications, and it's going to say, click on it. There it is. And the notification says it's been moved to my board for review. All right, so that's how you move items between boards. If you have any questions about that, let me know. I, if you have any topics I'd like me to cover, let me know in the comments. That is how I get new topics for videos. Thanks.